11th and Tyler Ingram starts on the outside in position number 12. Safety truck will make the left hand turn on the pit road. Welcome back to another Diecast review. As I'm sure we were all able to tell by the clips, we are taking a look today at Ty Majeski's 2022 Bristol win. This was his first career win. I was able to get to see this in person. A little bit of an anticlimactic race. It didn't seem like the trucks could quite get the high lane up and rolling. Um, I don't know if they just need more practice on the track to help get that rubbered in, but usually by Xfinity race is when the top starts to come in. So I'm excited this year. Xfinity race, truck race is going to be great. Cup race, We'll see. We'll see. We need, we need, um, we definitely need more quality race than out of the cup race this year. We'll, we'll see if we get it. But let's go ahead and start here. There you see at the time of Jeske, you know, or University of Northern Ohio, 200 winners, September 15th, 2022. Uh, 200 total laps. He led 45, one by 1.1 seconds. And it was only an hour and a half race. Uh, you can see there the race winner sticker in blue. And then we do have our standard race win box for that 2022 season. There's a render of the truck. And then right over here, you can see 996 of the Bristol wins made. So a decent amount, honestly. I do like how Bristol tends to get most of the race wins made because I'm always there. So I, I, I get pretty happy about that. Um, Kansas is a whole different story. But let's go ahead and look here. So down the left side, you do see a couple of donut marks right away there on the left side. We've got our number 66. we got Road Ranger, Cincinnati. You can see we've got Ty Majeski. Also, you can see the little yellow tips. That's a Thor Sport thing where the back of the cab has that little yellow tip to it. We got Camping World in bright blue across the windshield. We got a blue splitter and a blue spoiler for the uh, playoffs. This race actually locked him into the championship four at Phoenix. Uh, on the back, you can see we got Road Ranger. You can see we got Texas Taco. Is that what that is? No, Te Tejas? 
Tejas taco. Uh, and then Dan's famous pizza. And then uh, Majeski across the rear window, you can kind of see the way that they've got the two silver bars across that. This is Toyota. They moved back to Ford this year. So you see we've got Toyota there. Uh, then they'll move back to Ford this year. So he did win at IRP in a Ford, which is up for pre-order, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so we do have that. Um, let's see, is there anything else I'm missing here? I'm trying to think. Uh, yeah, nothing else I'm missing as far as main, major race detail. Now, the paint scheme is similar to this year's, and I do like it. I love the mold on the Toyota Tundras. I don't know what it is. Just the way the nose lines up just looks cool. Um, but the 66 is no, no more. He now runs the 98. Uh, so just a different number changes all, but same paint scheme, same sponsors is what I've seen. Uh, at least that's what he won with at IRP. You do see we've got 66 in there uh, labeled on the inside of the rim. I uh, didn't mention it, but on the inside, you can see it's just a plain black dash. You can go in and actually edit some pieces and make it look a little cooler. So I'll show you one uh, at some point where how we can edit our cabs to make them better. Uh, underneath, you can see uh, no din under here. This just has the molding. The din is actually in here here oh god it's hard to read yeah i can't read it from there i'm gonna have to look at the old-fashioned way 158 din is 158 it's down here inside the cab but because of the lighting uh every time i turn it that far it gets too much shadow and the camera can't read it so uh yeah din 158 but Overall, it was cool to see him win his first career race. Definitely a good-looking race version. Uh, not from the race version part, but it's just a good, solid paint scheme. Uh, and it wasn't offered in the standard scheme, so, you know, getting the race version is kind of a, the next best thing. So, um, But anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts on the race and the race version in the comments below. And let me know if you've pre-ordered that IRP car because or truck, because uh, you should. It's, it's a good one, and I like getting ones that I've seen in person produced. So, you know, hop to it. Anyway, uh, you can find this. Uh, no, not this one. Sorry. I think we've sold out uh, RASDieCast.com. This one is actually going into my personal case. Um, so I think those are actually sold out, but we are not sold out of the IRP one. So uh, shameless plug one more time. Um, but anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. We'll see you in the next DieCast review.